Hey recruits, it's Riku here and welcome to a house walkthrough. Not really a house, it's more of a asylum. So on stream we built this llama asylum. Yes, that's what it's called because I love llamas, I love unicorns, but we called it the llama asylum. Um, it has 37 rooms and out the back here, so you see the building out the back, that is the bathroom, shower, laundry area. This is for the more serious patients and then we've got like a little courtyard here. Um, this build took a little over or uh, under 20 hours to build so about four streams it took me to fully build, furnish, landscape, everything. Um, it was pretty hectic but I had a lot of fun doing it so I wanted to show you guys the um, inside of it. So we're going to go through, um, it is a little bit laggy because there is a lot on this lot. Um, so just bear with it. So if it's just being a little bit slow, that's why. Uh, so this is the entry here. So you see we've got a little sign, a little hospital sign, because um, we don't have like asylum signs, because technically there's no asylums in The Sims. A um, bunch of rubbish bins, a letterbox, um, and the outside looks quite quite nice so I wanted it to look like um, like an old uh, like old and on the outside but then a mixture of new and old on the inside as well so this is the main entrance so we come in here and there's three archways plus three entry doors and we come in and this is the main office area so if you have a look we do have three uh, reception areas with desks and Lots of filing cabinets and uh, pictures. Now they are these pictures here are the like from the get to work career. Um, we're just gonna pretend that the oh, excuse me got out of tab. We're just gonna pretend that they are doctors. Um, so if you have a look over here, we do have a little seating area with a couple of old greenish chairs, and then over here there's more seating areas now there is only it's, it's everywhere in the room like in the bedrooms um and the counselors rooms it's one item of custom content and it's a llama pot plant now you will see that in the like through the tour so everything else is from the game so if you also have a look we do have a little uh doctor sign here like hospital sign and these filing cabinet uh, files on the wall as well and then we walk through one of the entrances. There are two doorways into the entrance and you come into like a little hallway area. Um, that is a staircase to go upstairs. So if you have a quick look in here, it's got, see that's, this is the llama I was talking about. That's custom content. But if you have a look, it's quite cozy, quite nice. It's got a lot of like raincoats and, and a mirror and stuff in there. Um, so with this section here, so these two doors, uh, the two counselors office on the ground floor so this area I was like oh it can be like a little waiting area and these little boards could be um, like oh who's gonna be next what's you know on what day who's on what days and stuff like that so you know that's how I pictured it so if we go into this room here got a couple of candles as well it's quite fancy this asylum um, so this is the first counselor's office um, quite nice wall full of bookshelves, a couple of filing cabinets, that's their uh, computer there, there's that llama again and just like a little seating area for you to sit in and just talk about your stuff, you know, stuff you need to get off your chest. So we come back out into the hallway and then we come into this room. I tried to make them very similar, like same sort of furniture downstairs but different colours. So you can see this one is quite a darker one, different layout as well. Um, so you've got the computer chair here, you've got a couple of chair, or computer desk I should say, a couple of chairs here, a uh, couple of, uh, you know, plaques, so like your qualifications and stuff. Another seating area here, a couple of magazines on the shelf, um, view to the outside, which is really cool. Filing cabinet and a little, you know, plants and stuff, maybe a little bit cozy. Um, and then you come over here. So these two doors come into the uh, kitchen. 
So if you have a look, it is quite a large kitchen. We've got three uh, fridges, we've got three stoves, lots of areas to uh, able to do your cooking prep on. Uh, I've got two dishwashers and two sinks. Um, if I added any more, this game would have, phew, tell you, this lot is so laggy now. It's crazy. Anyway, so we've got four bins as well. So that, you know, if one's full, they can always go for the others and stuff like that. And we do have a little bookcase there just in case they want to read something while they wait for the uh, doctor or counsellor. But if you go into this room, this is the main dining area. So it is quite an older looking like an older style aesthetic um so the way i think of it is like the rooms are so like the, the every level is more modernized um so this is the main sort of dining area uh catching up with your fam and this door goes out into the courtyard um so we'll go out there last um a lot of um sort of happiness pictures so you've got your pig like your flying pig your bears and stuff over here and a couple of paintings there as well so not much in that room on this room but then you come over here so over here is modern still sort of olden's like it's it's a mixture of both so you do have this wall on the side here which is full of these pot plants and then we've got like this little seating uh, section here and then oh, let me get out of that and then you go over here and there's just a little area where you can have a little like sit down have a little fireplace and a tv now all these rooms um are actually bedrooms so if you look there is one room uh it's quite nice I quite, i'm really happy with how it turned out and then the other room we won't go into every single room because ugh, 37 rooms and that's a lot um so i wanted them all to be sort of different so i use the th three main single beds i do a couple of rooms with doubles as well um this is the other room which is cute so they're all virtually the same just in different layouts so we go down so we're not going to go through them otherwise it's going to take a very very long time for this walkthrough this is quite a long hallway i i do know that um but you know 37 rooms we got it we got to work with it um so there's a lot of paintings lots of you know bright colors and stuff down in this section and then down here you've got another like little tv section um with a gaming console which is off these two rooms here which is really really cute and then in this little room here uh we've got another staircase to go upstairs so if you go here, so you've got ones going up to the top floor as well. But if we go down into this room, or this section, so this is another section. We've got a tree over here. We've got a couple of things all over the walls. And you go straight into a room, you know, quite different to downstairs. So I try to do different decorations and stuff. Llama in every room. Again, lots of flowers. Sorry for the lag, guys again it's quite a big lot with a lot of stuff in it um and then this is another room different lots of plants in this room and then if you go into this room again it is a different layout but all the same items so then you continue uh, down this hallway uh, again all they're all bedrooms so if you go in they are all bedrooms as you can see And then we go all the way down here. So I did like something different here. I did like a little bookcase. Well, it's not little. It's big bookcase. Little plants on the walls. Another TV area. Uh, lots of plants over here, which is quite cute. Um, never used this item from a season. So it was quite nice to actually use it in this build, uh, finally. Finally able to use it. And then you come into this area lots of plants again but we do have the foosballs table or football tables um just to jazz it up a bit because obviously you still got to have fun while you're here so in these rooms these are the ones with the double beds yep so if you have a look here we've got a double bed and lots of clutter items lots of wall art and lights 
quite brown like brownie tones in there and then in this room we do have the cats and dogs again different I did shelving here as you can see a different color scheme as well lots of pictures you know lots of lot little bits of clutter as well um, and then in this room I do believe it is another double bed yeah again very different got a bookcase there your desk with your journal uh, lots of plants and clothes and stuff over here as well and then again it's the same in those two rooms just a different layout and same clutter so we continue through these two doors here and then you have like a little seating area so if you have a look in here that is the stairwell so you come in and you've got this little seating area with your seasons plants um, which is cute that is really cute the little uh, cat and dog pot plant with, on the round table which is really really cool now this is the activity and skill building room so you can see you've got your chess tables you, you don't work the llama a couple of keyboards a bookcase with a couple of seats that you can sit in and then this is kind of blocking the, well separating the uh, easels and we've got a couple of uh, mats down so that way you don't get paint on the beautiful wooden flooring uh, and in this room over here we do have a council's room a different setup um, as well same sort of furniture as to downstairs but there is more seating more book book cases and you know something a bit different you know you gotta be different you know you know what I'm saying um, but then we have like another waiting area over here and then a couple of gaming consoles there because they wouldn't fit into the activity room itself but if you have a look this is another counselor office as well again a different setup but sort of different sort of different but that is similar yet not the same like different swatches of the furniture and then we go into this stairwell and we'll go up to the top floor we'll go up so up here it, is, it does go faster so I do apologize oh this lag is killing me um, okay so we go up here and then we go straight into this room here which is yet another counselor office uh, has different bookcases uh, two lots of seating areas computers and your filing cabinets and stuff again which is cool and then over here we've got another little seating area with lots of plants and pictures a little couch uh, sitting area so you can read your books and stuff again some more gaming consoles um, and then in this room is the other counselor's office uh, sort of similar to the other setup in the other room but you know I wanted to make them a little bit different so I jazzed it up with some plants as well um, again in this room we do have like this skill building area so you've got just the painting easels don't wait the llama and the chess tables in this floor here and then you here and there's your other hallway again I've changed the color scheme to blue because I wanted to use this mat so we've got the don't wait the llamas across here and then a couple of bookcases and some more seats so these are uh, bedrooms again Oops, sorry about that um, yeah so different again lots of pictures and clutter and stuff like that and then you go through and then this is the other one which is cool and then they're all sort of the same going down into here so I don't know where the items are from here but we did have items in here they're just not showing up which is a little bit weird um, very very weird but anyway so that, yeah you've got your rooms so this one is more like you know your animal ones I wanted it to be a little bit different but it's so annoying that it's not showing up but anyway uh, so again yeah more more rooms um, they do get a lot more cluttered as you go along and then this is the first room we did actually furnish and then we started on floor to floor so that is the main building I don't know why those furniture items aren't coming up so it's really annoying so we're just gonna go uh, down we're gonna try and go down the lag is real 
<laughs> so this is what happens when you pour a lot of items on one lot it just it starts to really slow the lot down um, so it took me it took like five minutes for me to actually load into it which was really quite annoying but it is what it is so we're gonna go through in back into the dining room and then out into the courtyard so we're just doing that slowly and very laggy okay so this is the entrance to the courtyard so if you have a look you do have a couple of ponds with uh, llama heads which is cool because it's a llama asylum so I felt that it went really well you got a basketball area uh, a lot of seating areas as well and then out here we've got the couple of swings um, some fire pits and some garden like a gardening area with the bees and patchy and then we have like a little barbecue area uh, with uh, some seating so that they can sit down and you know enjoy outside uh, this actually took me a very long time to do um, but I am really happy with how it turned out so if we go up just a little bit it's gonna move a little bit faster so in this building as I said it is the uh, main like the toilet building um, so if you have a look we've got your toilets that are all the same we left this a little bit plain um, because we felt if we added any more stuff on this lot we wouldn't load at all like it wouldn't load at all so we didn't want to do that so we did leave it plain plus you just come in and do your stuff and then leave so in here we do have like little cubicles here for the baths which is cute and then in here these are your little showers so that is the shower area and we're just going to go through here and then in this room over here we do have little llamas everywhere too this is the laundry area so we've got lots of like washer dryers we've got one only one sink in here i believe yeah only one sink lots of uh, bench space though lots of washing baskets and stuff like that and some shelving units to put your washing detergent and stuff on two barbecues because you know if someone's non-vegetarian and they want to cook like a veggie patty or something like that they don't have to contaminate their food with the meat um so oh, so sorry it's so laggy <laughs> um in this building this is for like the more sort of intense uh, high risk patients so it has a separate building so in here we've got like the main reception area as you can see more seating areas and lots of files and stuff in here I believe is the counselor office no it's not the council office sorry we do have one yes we do so you go into a separate hallway and then you do have your councillor office here Again, different to the other building, quite light, couple of seating areas. It's quite nice, I'm quite happy with it. So this is just a hallway where you sit and wait, using the same sort of chairs as we did in the main building. And we did a couple of, you know, little features here. Um, so this is, again, the skill building room. It's got a couple of, no, four chess tables and three, no, four uh, painting easels, which is cool. And then this over here is the other counselling room. So if you go in, this one is quite dark. So again, mixing dark with light, which is cool. Um, and then we go back down the hallway. And then we will go into the door that you saw when we entered the building. So we're just going to go here. And these are little half walls that I've used, which is really cool. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And a couple of magazines, that way you sit down and you're not bored when you're waiting. So if we go up here, this is to go upstairs. Cutting into the thing here. Whoop. And then you come into like a little activity room with your don't wake the llama and your football table foosball tables and then this is like a little library area where you can sit down and read and then you go into these 
this hallway. So there's only three rooms in here, three rooms on each floor. So you do have your little gaming console down the end there, but in this room, this is what this room looks like. It's quite nice, quite girly. And then you've got this room, which is again, red and black, red, black and white, which is cute. And then you go down and we put curtains on these <laughs> windows because we thought it'd be funny. Sorry, I said three. Um, there's actually four rooms. So in here we do have another room with like, we thought that maybe this person was into those boy critters. So we put a lot of the cards and stuff all over the walls and yeah, I really like how it's turned out. I really like this room. And then you go into this room and again, quite girly, you know, lots of pinks and makeup clutter and all of that. Okay, and then you want to go back down the hallway. And then we go upstairs to the top level. So this is the, they're just stairwells, you know, nothing exciting. So on the top level, they do have like a little TV area with gaming consoles, your chess tables, painting easels and bookcase. A couple of bookcases in there, I should say. And then again, in these rooms, they are quite different. I wanted to do like a little feature wall there and putting the desk by the window, which is really cool. And then again, in this room, I like, I wanted to make these ones different to each other. And then we go through and then we see these rooms in here. I really like these little fairy lights. They're so cute. And then we go into the last room here and then it has the view to outside. And I really like the clutter and stuff I have done. So we're just going to cut out through there. And then as you can, ooh, as you can see, this is the little courtyard here where you can walk out and do your swings and stuff. But guys, this is the Llama Asylum. I have finally uploaded it to the gallery. Um, just be warned, if you do download it, it is very laggy because there is so much in this build. So 37 rooms, there is a lot of clutter, a lot of furnishing, just lots of stuff in this build. So it is gonna be very, very laggy. Um, again, the only item you will lose is that llama pot plant because that is the only custom content that is in this game because we called it the llama asylum we wanted to use utilize that little llama pot plant so that they are the only that is the only item you'll lose in the game so it'll just remove itself from the rooms that it's in um, but I really hope you enjoyed the walkthrough I do apologize again, apologize again that it is laggy again a lot of stuff on one lot that's what happens but I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see me build a slightly smaller asylum on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified whenever I upload a new video. And I really hope you're all having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.